Frozen Arctic soil, called permafrost, holds more than a trillion tons of carbon. As the dirt thaws, that carbon escapes as greenhouse gases. Scientists say this melting could supercharge global warming. I see only one way. It's necessary to mitigate melting of permafrost. Sergei Zimov has been studying the permafrost for decades. To stop the permafrost from thawing, he has a radical notion to recreate the Arctic of 30,000 years ago. In Pleistocene, there was millions and millions of herbivores which eat this grass all winter. Winter here is very long. Zimov's goal was to transform mossy tundra and forests like this into grasslands. So 18 years ago, here was like the place we've just been at. Now, well, you see that the dominant is grass. They are recreating the mammoth steppe ecosystem that once dominated the high latitudes. The first experiments we started in the Soviet time. We bought some horses, we built small fence. The animals kill trees and shrubs and stimulate grasses by grazing and fertilizing them. Sergei's son, Nikita, brings a group of students into a permafrost cave to show the connection. 30 meters below the surface, one appreciates the massive size of this carbon-rich soil. How do, can you cool the permafrost more? You remove the insulating layer. How can you do that? Like, you can either take a bulldozer and bulldoze entire Arctic everywhere, or you can let animals do that themselves. Our horses, for example, excavate snow four or five times per winter. By disrupting the snow and exposing soil to the Arctic air, the animals keep the permafrost two degrees colder than it would have been otherwise. Animals from all over Asia now graze in Pleistocene Park. Yakutian horses from this region of Siberia, musk ox from Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean. Local hunters provide moose. And the Zimovs hope other Pleistocene parks will be created to protect permafrost across the world. And we see if it's happened in small territory, it will happen in the any territory. Many thousand years humans fight with wild. And main enemy of humans it was wild animals. By allowing animals to transform the Arctic and protect permafrost, the Zimovs want to change the relationship between humans and animals. This ecosystem possible recover.